Hey, welcome everyone. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to stream a PlayStation 4 or PlayStation 4 Pro to an iPhone or an iPad. Now, for the remainder of this video, whenever I say PS4, I'm referencing a PS4 and a PS4 Pro because the steps are the exact same thing on either console. Um, also, the steps are identical to get this done on an iPhone or an iPad. So, for the sake of simplicity and saving time, I'm just going to show you how to do this on an iPad just because the screen is a little bit bigger and easier to record. So, a couple of requirements to get started. Super easy though. Uh, is that you'll need a Sony PlayStation Network account. You'll need that account signed into the PlayStation 4 that you're going to be streaming from, and also on the iPhone or iPad you're going to be streaming to as well on the app that I'll show you how to install later on. Uh, the next thing, of course, is that you do need a controller connected to your iPhone or iPad for best performance. It's not mandatory. So on an iPad, for example, there are actually touchscreen controls that are available on the streaming app. Don't recommend it. It's not a good experience. You're much better off using a controller paired with the uh, mobile device, which I'll show you how to do on your mobile device shortly. So let's start with the PlayStation 4 setup first. Okay, so from the main screen, what you're going to do is navigate to settings, then remote play connection settings, and then turn on enable remote play. Then go back to the main settings menu once again, go to account management, activate as your primary PS4, and then select activate. Now this feature might not be applicable to everyone, it's only for people that have more than one console. I myself only have one, so if you don't need this step, don't worry about it too much. And the last thing you want to do is go back to the main system settings menu, then go to power save settings, set features available in rest mode, and then select the checkboxes for stay connected to the internet and enable turning on PS4 from network. This basically means that while your PS4 is in rest mode and you open the app for remote connectivity, that the second you turn on the app, it'll try to wake up the PS4 so you can start playing it without having to go over to your PS4 button and pressing the power button first. Okay, so with the PS4 set up and ready to go, at this point, what you wanna do is connect your PS4 controller to your iPhone or iPad. So the way to do this is that while the controller is off, you wanna press and hold the PlayStation button and the share button together at the same time for about three seconds. You'll know it's in pairing mode when the light on the top starts to flash. At this point, you can now go to your iPhone or iPad and open the main settings menu, navigate to Bluetooth, and ensure Bluetooth is on if it isn't already, and then look for the wireless controller, tap it, and it'll connect like almost instantly. Now you're ready to get the app up and running. So there are actually a few ways to find the app on the App Store. One is just simply go to the App Store and search for PS Remote Play. Um, it's the one from Sony. You can download and install it from there or you can just go to the URL I'll put in the video description in which will take you to the PS Remote Play official website from Sony. And the last method is to go to the written guide that I made of this entire video you're watching. A uh, link to that is also in the video description which will go to my website. There's a QR code you can scan super fast to take you straight to the App Store and you can download the app. So during the setup, it's gonna ask you to log into your PlayStation Network account. Remember to use the same one that's logged into the PS4 you're gonna stream from and then select PS4 and it'll look for it automatically. If for some reason pairing doesn't work automatically with your PS4, you'll get a warning on the IO phone or iPad app, basically saying, hey, there's an alternative method. You have to get a pairing code. Um, the steps to get there are super easy. The screen will actually tell you literally how to do it on the PS4. Uh, you'll get the code on your TV, walk over to your iPhone or iPad, punch it in, and it'll sync it anyway. So it's kind of like a brute force method. If it doesn't work, super simple to get it done. Now, once everything's up and running, again, you can use the physical controller, which I recommend, or on-screen touchscreen controls, which I do not recommend. But performance is super fast, fluid, and pretty darn awesome, actually. Um, in my home network, with my PS4 on a wired Ethernet connection and the iPad on a Wi-Fi connection, it's incredibly smooth. Um, now, you can theoretically do this over the internet. So if you're not on the same network as your PS4, you can still get the service to work. Uh, there are a couple of catches, though. The first is that the network that your PS4 is on must have a pretty solid upload speed. Most upload speeds from your internet service provider are pretty terrible, so that's one caveat you'll have to get over. The other is that the further you are away from your home, where your PS4 is located, the more latency you'll get. So if you're across halfway across the world and you're trying to do this, expect absolutely horrible performance. So best to do this on your home internal network, if you will. And that's pretty much it. So if you found this video useful, be sure to check out my social links in the video description. Hit the like button, it does help. Subscribe, and thanks for watching.